Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk about a lens with concave sides. So this is a fairly thick lens with uh, concave surfaces on both sides. Light source over here. Uh, this dial determines the radius of this side and so I can adjust that to be fairly flat and the same for the other side okay and then this is the optical density of the internal the glass so this is like a really dense glass and if I bring it down to one it's like air it's like nothing okay so let's get started so the rays coming out of our light source hit this surface and just like with the convex lens the the rays are reflected off this side, small portions reflected. And if we look at those reflections, they seem to be um, heading, you know, basically back toward the uh, toward the source, source, especially if I can put a little curvature on there. So now they're really heading back toward the source. And what you should pick up from this is because the the normal to the surface and the and the ray coming in are so similar, the light is not going to bend much when it goes through. So here are the internal rays. Let's turn these guys off. So, you know, this, this ray is almost straight going through here. Even though it's changing from air to glass, there's not much of an angle between the, between the incoming ray and the normal. So it's not going to change its path much. Now, the opposite is here, that, that when it comes in here, it's going to be a larger angle than we saw on the uh, convex lens. So on the concave lens, when we get to the other side, the rays go spread out like crazy. So if we bring this down now, just to prove that we can have no effect if it's air. So now we have something similar to air, very, very, um, you know, it's just a, I don't know, piece of, a piece of plastic or something. With low optical density. Anyway, the, the point here is, when we give this optical density, this lens some optical density, it spreads the beam instead of instead of pulling the beam together like the convex lens did. So the only way we could pull things together is if we reverse the whole world. If this if we're underwater now, and so this is something with a density, and then this is a uh, uh, a bubble of air that we've created, then everything goes the other direction. So I can simulate that this way. So now I can get this thing to focus. So underwater or in some dense liquid medium, uh, you actually can get the rays to at least be perpendicular. In this case, maybe if I give it a little more curvature, we could bring it together a little tighter. There we go. So now we can see the focal length of this lens it's going to be similar to the, the convex lens, even though it's concave. But this is because we have a reversal of the optical density. Normally, a glass lens would have this kind of effect.